I don't know why I was surprised to hear Senator Kathleen Kauth open by talking about how we have to save these children from the pain that they're in because they aren't mature or developed enough to make their own decisions. But then in a couple weeks, she's going to turn around and vote for a bill that would force 12-year-olds to have a baby, to have a whole entire human child. She thinks they're mature enough for that. Trans people are not all in pain. Trans youth are not all in pain. The ones in pain are because of the actions and rhetoric of people like Senator Kathleen Kauth. Kids know who they are, and when they get affirmation from their communities and their family members and their schools and their loved ones, as many, many trans and gender expansive kids do today, they're not in pain. You know what? They're normal. They do activities with their friends. They go to dances. They date. They start clubs and join clubs and hang out after school and have the same problems as everybody else. And that's the kind of future that I'm working toward to live in, not a future that codifies the bigotry and discrimination and hate that people like me grew up with, perpetuated by people like Senator Kathleen Kauth. She said that she hasn't talked to anybody who would want to go back to middle school, to being an adolescent, to junior high. A big reason I wouldn't want to go back to junior high and middle school is because of bullies like Kathleen Kauth. Because of people like her who made me feel ashamed of my identity. Who would say things like, you must be sad. I've seen the pain this causes you. I want to speak to the young, trans, and gender expansive people of Nebraska as a loving mother, as family, as kin. Don't listen to anything Kathleen Kauth is saying. She doesn't know what she's talking about. What she's saying and doing today literally has nothing to do with you and what you know about yourself. She's on her own journey. She's still evolving. She has nothing to do with us. No matter what your circumstances are in life, if you're affirmed, if you're not, if you're out, if you're not, you have the power to use your life to choose what you surround yourself with. You have the power to choose the conversations you have, the music you listen to, the affirmations and love that you give to yourself. You are love and you are loved. And trans people in Nebraska have always been around. Don't ever let someone with opinions like Senator Kathleen Kauth's prevent you from being around. Don't ever let someone like her with opinions like hers and a small worldview like hers prevent you from being around. We don't have to know or understand why she's doing this. She has her own purpose, but you have yours. And what she's doing has nothing to do with you or your future. You are put on earth just as you are to learn and laugh and love and be loved and play and live life just like everybody else. Your world is bigger than hers. You're using all the colors in the box, which she's afraid to do. You're experiencing life in a bigger way and you already understand the real freedom and power that comes when you don't have the need to control everybody else, to control anybody. You know what I did last weekend? I spent a lot of time looking at Airbnbs in other countries, in other places, in other parts of um, the United States. I was thinking after, we're, after we adjourn here, I could sublet my apartment in Omaha. I could maybe take my kid and, and some of my friends and go have a little holiday and try to stay away a little bit. I was thinking about getting one with a couple bedrooms so that friends could visit. I was fantasizing 
about what it would be like to not live in a state that has people like Kathleen Kauth who are trying to control people's bodies and futures and that's all I could think about. Isn't that sad? That's sad to me. I was trying to embroil myself in real life that has nothing to do with the work that we do in this fishbowl of this room. This body is so much more radical, right, than the average Nebraskan. Nebraskans aren't asking us to do stuff like this. But there's 49 folks in here who were the lesser of two evils and got elected and think they know best what to do for everybody. But last night I went to an event at Luli Creative House in Omaha. Um, it was hosted by Mary Lawson and Andrea Joy Pearson, and they performed original music, and they did what's called a sound bath. And it was my first time ever doing something like that. Um, a sound bath is when they use instruments and resonance and sound to create, um, to, to just fill the room with like bright, intense tones. And you lay down and you relax, and it's meant to be meditative and relaxing. And I was, I went because I wanted to have a relaxation exercise before this week. But it did not relax me. As I was laying there hearing the tones in the sound bath with all of these people in the room, this extremely diverse group of people, I felt like I had licked a nine volt battery. I was not relaxed, I was amped, I was jacked. I was charged for this week. I left feeling like I had a bolt of lightning run through me. That experience made me love Omaha so much more than I did. I love my community as it is. I loved all those people in that room. I love all the people in this room, but I recognize that you're on a journey. And where you are on that journey means that we cannot pass this bill. Nebraskans, you are free to be who you are, exactly as you are, not how Kathleen Kauth wants you to be. Eventually she's gonna be she's gonna be out of here, she's gonna be term limited or she won't be reelected, and you're never gonna think about her again. So don't fixate on what's happening in this body and think that it has anything to do with the reality of your identity or your existence. You're bigger than that. You're bigger than we 49 people, and you're bigger than the state of Nebraska, and you're bigger than any laws men can pass to put rules on your own body. You have the power over your body, not us. Trans people will always exist. There's nothing we can do here in the Nebraska legislature to prevent or change that. Today, nearly eight in 10 Americans back non-discrimination protections for LGBT people, according to a poll from the nonpartisan Public Religion Research Institute. That includes 65% of Republicans. And a 2021 poll by PBS NewsHour Maris found that two-thirds of Americans oppose bills limiting the rights of transgender people. Many people across the political spectrum accept the premise that defending a marginalized group's civil rights is identity politics. I've heard so many of you in this body say, I've had enough of identity politics, this is, this is feelings and emotions, enough identity politics. But how come what you're doing isn't also identity politics? How come wanting to stand up for trans youth and gender expansive LGBTQ people in One our minute. state is gender, is uh, identity politics, but when you try to strip away those rights, it's not. You're the ones who brought this fight to the legislature. Colleagues, I want you to know that if this bill advances, the filibuster will, re will resume. I will join it with my whole heart, with my whole chest, and every bill will be going to cloture. You're gonna need 33 votes on every bill after this if LB 574 doesn't fail cloture. That's the deal. In Nebraska, we give subsidies and incentives to ag producers, we lower taxes, we support our university insofar as it might make our football team better. We don't attack, attack trans people. We That's don't time, attack LGBTQ people. Thank you, Mr. President.